Yeah, yes, Pat, uh, out here hanging out in the parking lot, and uh, really an important thing to talk about here, the land of 10,000 lakes uh, really facing a threat from invasive species. We've talked about this so much, uh, but there are things that we can be, be uh, doing to help out with this, including this awesome piece of machinery that we have behind us. We're going to talk about that in a second. We have Pat Konzemius uh, with Wildlife Forever here, and then also uh, Ed Rudberg, CEO of CD3. Uh, thank you both for being here. First of all, uh, with Wildlife Forever, what's the work that you guys do? So we're a local uh, nonprofit conservation organization. We do work all around the country uh, about conservation issues. But here locally in Minnesota, we, we really focus on our clean, drain, dry message. And that's educating boaters and, and anglers about how to prevent the spread of invasive species and really those uh, critical prevention steps uh, to make sure that we don't spread invasive yeah. species from lake to lake. We all have to do our part for sure. Uh, Ed over here uh, behind this uh, really cool piece of uh, machinery that we have behind us. Tell us what you brought here. I know you guys are excited about this. Yeah, so we've got a waterless cleaning station. Uh, we call it a, wa a CD3 watercraft, watercraft cleaning station. It's designed right. to help boaters clean, drain, dry uh, their boats and then dispose of their bait. Mm -hmm. So they can use things like we got a vacuum here. Uh, we wet, our way here. Yeah, wet dry vac that uh, you can use. Just uh, power it up here and uh, take a look at the boat and let me make sure we get all Try the way to get out. this thing working yeah. here. Pull the tube out. Obviously, we have the boat over here. What are you doing with it? Yeah, so what you're looking for is any weeds, debris, anything that you might have within your boat, underneath your boat, in the live wells that you would want to suck out. So you can, you know, suck out any zebra mussels, milfoil, any of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, really looking to uh, assist boaters with cleaning, draining, and drying. Yeah, and this and these stations, I know this is a concept that you guys came up with. Yep. Uh, As, as many boats or boat launches that really make sense. You know, they have to be high use and, and in order to invest in the infrastructure, but really trying to make it easier for people to, to do the right thing, whether they, you know, like to have conservation or they, they like to have a clean boat when they bring it back to their home. Yeah, how important and, and how helpful can this thing be? It's, it's tremendously important and it's one of the, the first times that, that we have a tool available at the access to help prevent the spread. We yeah. can do so much education, we can do so much outreach, uh, but really it's, it's about having the tools to, to implement the behavior. And the yeah. CD3 station is that first step in allowing boaters and anglers to do the right thing themselves. And so it's, uh, it, it's a great product and a perfect time. If people live near a lake and they don't have one of these there, they want one of these there, how can they get one to pop up there? Well, they can start by contacting their lake association, work okay. with their lake association, the local county, uh, any of the LGUs, really kind of start talking about it, and, and certainly they can reach out to us, and we're always happy to help them. Pat uh, with Wildlife Forever, Ed with CD3. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate the time. Uh, we'll have all this information for you, of course, at care11.com as well. We're back after this. Stay with us.